we've decided today to head up to a place called Roundloaf, which is a, an old ancient burial mount, smack bang in the middle of Anglesite Moor. There's a, a few of us today. It's Kaz, Daz, and Cooch and myself. They're just having a rest behind me on that bench as I'm walking along talking to you. Uh, we've got out of car and we're walking this path which will take us right in the middle of Round Wharf. Um, the area around us, as you can see, all there, that hill is Winter Hill. So we're on this side of Winter Hill today. We're on the north side. Uh, we're heading in that area behind me, where I am. Uh, and then we've got all that behind, which is uh, the reservoirs, uh, um, Rivington, and around that area, and so on, as you can see behind it, heads over towards like Wigan and uh, uh, Liverpool, and that far on. Uh, so we've got uh, um, Winter Hill, which is behind me head now. Uh, you can't see it at the moment because of this tree line, but that uh, goes towards uh, uh, the area of Great Hill. Uh, you've got all this behind me as well, which uh, if that wasn't there, you'd be able to see all the way to Blackpool and that area, all that side of Lancashire. Um, there is another area where we're going to. We, we won't be able to see... Um, much of the the landscape uh, as far as you can see behind me here at the back now because this burial mound is, is in the middle and it seems to be as though you can imagine an, an edge uh, where it's hills all the way around it uh, these hills like Winter Hill and Great Hill and going all around um, and I think it was built in that area because I believe it could have been an important chieftain uh, of a tribe at one time because we are going back to Neolithic times. And I'm not sure, but I do believe it has had some excavation there at some time. Um, I think, not proper excavation, I mean... Uh, grave robbers have been in there because what you do get there you, you see a few holes here and there around the bottom of it where they probably got to the treasures that were maybe in the middle um, so yeah we're, we're walking up there we're having a nice steady walk today uh, so this video will probably be mostly me pointing out things as we're walking along uh, and a few shots uh, of the area we're in. Where I am at the moment on, on this path, where these trees are behind me, is an old war memorial. I have done a video on it where the, someone was there one morning and uh, they were taking photos. Uh, it was a photographer who was up here. He was taking photos and he... Um, Turned round as he was taking the photos and um, noticed uh, a black cat just there. He gave him a quick growl or a grunt uh, and wandered off. And he said he, he was he was shocked to see this this cat there. So you know this this cat that we we look into a lot around this area or like cats, should I say, because I do believe there's more than one, do come fr from here all the way over to the area I saw it in, uh, near Edgington, around that area, which is, um, I'd say, from where I am now, it's a good 10 miles away. So we're coming to a style that we've got to get over in a sec. Uh, into a, what you can see here a few years back in this area 
there was a fire and it destroyed most of the trees. As you can see, they're just, just barely standing around this area now. We've got a few that have started growing again. Because uh, that's how it should have been. Or how it was at one time. And now it's uh, that. So we come to this style here. What we've got to get over. Because a lot of these styles around this area <coughs> are high and over the wall. Uh, there's not many gates, there's mostly styles. I'm not going to uh, film myself coming up and down here because I don't want to fall and have it on camera. <laughs> but here's the rest of them coming over now. We're at the halfway mark now, so we've not got far to go. It's become uh, from a large track right to a single track uh, along a little brook here. Yeah. It's not too bad, not too bad at all. At least it's dry up here uh, today because I've been wanting to do this uh, walk for a while but we've had a lot of rain uh, and you can't really walk around here after rainfall because it becomes too muddy, too wet so it's a lot easier to come up on a nice dry day and all this week we've had sunshine um, and it's been very dry so the ground would have soaked up a lot of that wetness and made its way down to this brook here from up here don't know if you can hear that noise in the background it's a, a curlew flying around somewhere making a lovely noise so we are in a valley making our way up there now uh, where we come from behind me up to here it looks as though there's a bit of wetness here not too bad because people have laid stones down so you can get over you don't want to slip in that and fall because of the smell of it around here it's a, a peaty smell 
I don't want to put my feet into it and be treading that smell back home with me. Uh, I'm sure where they won't. Right, I'll go up on top of the peat. <coughs> Set. So as you can see, even after a week of uh, really nice weather and drying, it still gets quite buggy. So we've we'll got to come round that. Team up at top there, they're uh, having a bit of a rest here and having a look around the area. Which you can't just walk on these paths without having a good loop round because it's such a beautiful place. I think they're waiting for me as well. We've reached it all the way from uh, that direction. As you can see, there's this little path here. Again, winter hills there, and this is Rhone Loaf. It's a burial mound that has been here since Neolithic times. And over in that direction, in the middle of Winter Hill, there's a, another burial mound called Noon Hill. And to the left of that, on the hill itself, to, near the mast, is another burial mound called Winter Hill Cairn. Around here is full of burial mounds. Uh, in that direction, just over that hill, there's one called the Pike Stones. And over there, another one called Black Coppice. And then in that direction, it heads over to a place called Hanging Stone. And beyond, we got a stone circled, stone circle, sorry, called uh, Cheatham Close stone circle. On the other side of the hill we have Great Hill, in fact that hill there at the side is Great Hill. Uh, that heads towards Chorley uh, and going towards um, um, Southport and around that area. Uh, so that's uh, in the distance right over there is Merseyside. And as you can see, it is, it's surrounded by hills all the way around. Little hills here, and right in the distance, you can't really see it, but I can see it with my eyes, uh, will be Cumbria. Uh, and then over there, it's like flatlands going towards um, the Peak District, is all in that area. So you can see a lot around here. So I believe at one time, this burial mound here is for someone who was very, very important to have this smack bang in the middle of nowhere built here. Especially to be in alignment with a lot of other burial mounds in this area. We're going to get to the top of it and uh, I'll do a 360 all the way around and then you can see uh, what we can see from this hill.